Namaste and welcome to another short yoga practice. I recommend having two blocks and one blanket and we'll start sitting on one of the blocks, maybe two if you like. So make sure that your knees are a little lower than the hips just to make it easier to sit with a neutral spine. And then close the eyes, soften the shoulders, tone in the low belly and get a little longer crown towards sky and allow your pelvis and your legs to create a stable foundation for you to sit. Tuning into the breath, watch air coming in and out of the nostrils, observing the fullness of each inhale followed by an emptying out that happens with the exhalations. As you breathe in, ribcage expands, intercostal muscles stretch. And as you breathe out, the ribs soften back together, those muscles contract, softening. Inhale more prana, more vitality into the system. And exhale to breathe out stagnant energy, anything that is not serving a purpose. Next time you breathe in, circle arms, reach overhead. Palms turn out on the exhale, we lower the arms, touching the earth by the hips. And again, palms up on the inhale, lift the arms overhead. Palms out on the exhale, touching the earth again. One more time. Inhale, circle arms, expanding through the rib cage, upper belly. And on the exhale, contract the low belly, soften through the ribs, further contract the low belly. Lift your right arm up as you breathe in. Walk the left fingers away as you breathe out, side stretch. Stay here for one breath into the right side of the rib cage. And stay as you exhale, soften. Inhale, lift that right arm up. Exhale, bring it down, touching the earth. Left arm, inhale, lift it. Exhale, rock, right fingers away, inside bend. Keep your left hip down as you lift the chest, breathing into the left side of the cage. And stay as you exhale, fully. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arm up. Exhale, lower the hand down, interlacing hands behind hips. Extend the arms, lift chest. Keep chin slightly into the chest, back of neck long. And feel the stretch that is happening for the front of the shoulders. Taking one more breath here, maybe lifting the hands higher off the floor with the arms straight. And releasing the hands, bring them together in front of your chest. Pause for a moment here with the eyes closed and create an intention for practice. An intention of what you would like to attract. Letting the practice support the manifestation of your intention. Make your intention clear, concise, how you want to feel. And rub the palms against each other, nourishing the seed of your intention. And with the heat in the hands, we'll cut the eyes, clearing the vision to see truth, to see from a fresh perspective. Sliding hands down face, past the jaw, back of the neck shoulders, use the fingertips to massage these muscles, breathing out unnecessary tension that may have been accumulated here. Let it go. Then transition onto the hands and knees, tabletop. You can pad your knees with a blanket if you like, have the blocks by the sides of the mat at the front. Place the hands underneath the shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers wide. And as you breathe in, lift the chest, shoulders soften down. 
Breathing out, squeeze the belly, tailbone tucks. We bring chin into chest, rounding the spine. Lift your tailbone as you breathe in, lift your chest, long neck. Breathing out, contracting the belly, rounding the spine, stretching the back of the neck, the upper back. One more time like this, lift the chest as you breathe in. And breathe out, squeeze the belly to round. Now come to neutral, extend the right leg back, parallel to floor, left arm forward by the head and hold. The thumb is pointing up, left thumb. So your palm, left palm is turning to the right. External rotation in the left shoulder. Contain the little ribs and take another breath here. Press the inner right heel back. And lower down, hand and knee. And other side, same thing. Extend the left leg back with the toes pointing down. Right arm by the head, palm facing left, thumb pointing up. So external rotation in the right shoulder will help this right shoulder stay away from right ear. Keep the hips equally high up and take another breath here, pressing back to the inner left heel. Then lower down, hand and knee. Walk the hands a couple inches ahead of the shoulders for downward facing dog. Curl the toes, hips high up and far back. Bend one knee at a time and move hips side to side. Stretching out the body in any way that feels good. Let your body tell you what it needs, what it wants to do. Don't question it, just move. No agendas, no rigidity. Freeing up the body as you move, as you breathe consciously. We pause in center now with the feet parallel hip distance apart and send the chest a little closer to the legs. Maintain space around the neck, pressing the pointer fingers and thumbs strongly down, especially the pads. As you inhale, come forward into plank, hold. Press the inner heels back, reach chest forward. Keep the low belly toned in. Neck so long, crown extending forward. Take another breath here in a strong plank. Then lower the knees down and move the hips in circles. So free up the hips and the low back with this circular movement. Letting the body move freely. Shoulders, head and neck are also free to move. Go the opposite way, keeping the lower belly just slightly drawn in, just enough to protect the low back. Let this be fluid. So good to do this motion of the circles in the hips. So good for the entire body, really. It just Notice how you feel when you do this. Is it freeing? Pause in center. Bring blocks underneath your hands. The blocks can be middle height, high is high to the side. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Lift up your chest. Square the pelvis forward, draw the belly in, and then extend your arms up by the head. The right knee is in line with the hip and the ankle. We allow the pelvis to be low and we lift the chest, spread the fingers wide, energize. Opening the front of the body, draw the right femur bone back into the hip socket. Maintain the low back full and take another breath, lifting out the chest. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the blocks and then blocks in the middle height or lowest height. As you extend the right leg, lift up your toes, breathe in, adjust the blocks, moving them back a little towards your hips. As you exhale, bend the front knee and lift the chest. Inhale, send the right hip back, lift your toes up. Exhale, come forward, lift the chest. Two more, inhale, right outer hip back. Exhale, forward without closing chest. One more time, inhale, toes up, lengthen through the low back on the right side, exhale, come on forward. And then extending the leg back, we'll pause. 
Maintaining the leg straight, left hand can grab the outer edge of the right foot. And we pause and breathe here. Relax the face and observe what's happening in the right side of the low back, the area of the quadratus lumborum, QL. We create a little more space. As you hold the pose and breathe, remember that where your attention is, your breath will go and more space will be created. So can you keep your attention in the places where there may be a little tightness, with the intention to breathe into that area, and then exhale to soften into that newfound space. We'll now re-bend the front knee, walk the blocks underneath the shoulders. The left hand will stay on the block. You can take the hand out a little bit if you like. Right hand to hip, look over the shoulder. Opening the chest, extend the right arm up, draw the shoulder heads back. You can even turn the right palm towards the front of the mat. Some of you might like to extend the back leg, curl the left toes, leave the knee off the floor, and keep lengthening through the waist on the right side. Keep bending the knee deeply. And take one more breath here, long, long neck. On the exhale, Lower the right hand down, left knee down, step the right foot back. Downward dog in between the two sides. Take the blocks aside and stretch up and back. Full inhalations, followed by complete exhalations, unbrushed. Get really empty and then take a full breath. You can track the low belly to assist you getting empty. Next time you breathe in, come forward into plank. Lower your knees down as you breathe out. Sit back onto the heels just for one breath. Child's pose. Inhale. And stay as you exhale. Soften. Come forward onto the hands. Blocks underneath the hands. Middle height or highest height. Left foot steps forward. Lift the chest. Hands to left thigh as you square the pelvis. Stabilize and extend the arms up by the head, palms face each other. Energize your fingers, spread them wide. Draw the left femur bone energetically back into the pelvic socket. Left outer hip down so the waist is long on the left side. And then with the low belly in, maintaining the low back full, lift the chest. Anjaneyasana, this crescent lunge pose got a crescent lunge shape from, or crescent moon shape from the back foot all the way up into the fingers. Last breath here. And exhale, bring the hands down. Adjust the blocks a little more back, closer to your right knee or hips. On the inhale, extend the left leg, lift up the toes. Exhale, come on forward and lift the chest. Inhale, left outer hip back, toes up. Exhale, bend the knee, lift chest. Inhale, extension. Exhale, flexion. One more. Inhale, leg back, stretch. Exhale, bend the knee forward. And as you inhale again, you hold here with your leg straight. Right hand grabs outer edge of foot. We draw the outer edge back towards the hip and the outer hip back to create more space in that low back area. On the left side now, QL. Reaching chest forward towards left ankle. Be mindful of your breath. And very aware of where you're placing your attention. Using this time to refine your ability to stay present with whatever you choose to focus on. Creating space, freedom in the body. Breathing out anything that is not serving, unnecessary tension, stress, rigidity, tightness, anything that is not serving a purpose, let it go. 
We'll now bend the front knee again and take the blocks underneath the shoulders and then the right hand where the block can go a little bit to the right just to give you more space to twist here. Look over the left shoulder, left hip back, left arm extends up and then we turn the palm towards the front of the mat. We rotate the shoulder heads back. The shoulder blades come closer together down the back and maybe we curl the right toes and straighten the leg. Waist long, left knee over ankle. Enjoy the opening here. And take one more breath in the twisted lunge. Lower the left hand down. Right knee to floor. Step your left foot back. Blocks aside, downward facing dog, curl the toes, hips high up, far back. Inhale fully. Send the hips far away as you exhale. Forward into plank, breathe in. Lower to your belly, breathe out. Inhale, little cobra, lift the chest without using your hands. Lift the hands off the floor and draw the elbows towards the waist. Maintaining the shoulder blades down the back, close together, tops of the feet on the floor, little toes towards the floor, so you're not turning the toes out, you're pointing straight back. One more breath here, lifting chest, strengthening back. And then exhale, the forehead down, hands close to low ribs. We're now preparing for our core dog, press into the hands, lift the chest and see if you can extend the arms all the way. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists in the same line. Tone in the low belly. Press the pads of the fingertips and the, especially in the index fingers and thumbs down. And then can you lift your knees off the floor, either with the tops of the feet straight or the tops of the feet on the floor and toes straight, or you can curl the toes with the knees off the floor. Your choice. Take one more breath here. Downward facing dog, hips high and back. Inhale, expansion. Exhale, finding ease in this moment, finding comfort in the body the way it is right now. Within the strength, within the stability. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, knees to the floor. Lower down to your forearms. Walk your elbows forward, bring your forehead down, and then bend the elbows to 90 degrees, bringing your hands together behind your head. Press your fingertips against each other and separate the palms, cupping the palms. Adjust as you like, drawing the elbows forward and closer together as you wish, allowing your chest to release towards the ground. Contain the low belly. Maintain the space around the neck. Just a few breaths here. Letting go of any heaviness in the heart. Breathe it out. Let it dissolve into the earth. To come out, bring your hands close to your head on the floor. Press down into the hands. Lift up the chest. Back into downward dog. You may want to walk the hands a couple inches ahead as you move into downward dog. From here, we walk the hands back towards the feet. Staying upside down for a moment, hold on to the elbows or forearms. Grow, sway side to side in Uttanasana. Keeping the arms by the head. And then pause in center, release the hands. Soft bend in the knees, knees align with the ankles. Roll out the spine, circle the arms, reach up overhead, hands together at the heart. Inhale fully, exhale completely, arms by the body, mountain pose, Tadasana. And you can stay as you are, I'll turn around so you can see me better. Bend the right knee for tree pose, turn the toes out. Foot up the leg, can be below the knee or above the knee. Palms touch at the heart. The hips are level, hip bones in the same height. 
And then from here, a little challenge if you like. The right hand comes in front of the right knee, palm faces forward, left arm up by the head, and then slide the right hand past your knee as you lean over to the right. Keep lifting the chest and anchor down the left foot, root it down, spread your toes. Just another breath here. Coming back out of three, Vrikshasana, up, 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 hands together at the heart, knee forward, foot down, arms down, back into mountain, Tadasana. Other side, bend left knee, open it out, foot up the leg, below or above knee, just avoid pressing the outside of the knee, lift up the chest, toning the low belly. And once you feel steady, Left palm in front of the knee, right arm by the head, and lean over to the left. Let the fingers slide past your left knee as you press down the right foot and open up that right side. Relax the face and maintain the breath steady and fluid, smooth. One more breath here in Vikshasana, variation with the lateral stretch. Come back up to center, both hands together at the heart, knee forward, foot down, back in Tadasana, anchor down, spread your toes. Line up your hip bones with your knees, with your ankles, inhale, circle arms, reach overhead, fold down with the legs, exhale, bow, bend the knees. Inhale, halfway up, extend the legs, shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees to fold again. Roll up, circle around, inhale high. Exhale, hands at heart. One more, circle the arms, reach up high, palms touch. Hands together, fold down over your legs, release your head. Inhale, halfway up, shoulders back, hands to legs. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Roll up the spine, circle the arms, reach up, touching palms. Exhale to heart. Arms down, back to mountain. And from here, we'll step the right foot back, left foot forward, triangle pose. Distance between the feet, about one of your legs length. Inhale, lift the arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, reach your left hand far forward, legs are straight. Left hand down, right arm up. Opening the chest, the torso is in line with the left leg. And there's a triangle between your legs, trikonasana, triangle pose. Looking up, if the neck's all right with that. Otherwise, you can look to the right or even down at the earth. Firm the legs, find a stable foundation, steer around, steady, and then find a sense of ease, a sense of sukham, comfort in the pose. One more breath. As you exhale, look down at the left foot, from the legs, and come up, breathing in without to lower the hands. Turn the toes around, other side of triangle. Inhale, arms lift, shoulder height. Exhale, right hand reaches far away, lengthen the right side of the waist. Right hand down, left arm up. Open chest. Soften shoulders. Relax the mouth. And notice the body strong, stable, and the freedom that comes from a strong body that is properly aligned energetically, allowing for prana to move more freely throughout the nadis, the little channels of energy in the body. Take one more breath here. Look down at the right foot, from the legs to come up, arms wide, breathe in. Breathe out to lower the hands. Interlace hands behind your hips as you bring your feet parallel. The strange clasping of the hands, the opposite thumb on the outside. Lift your chest, extend the arms, breathe in. And fold forward as you breathe out. Head towards floor, top of head down. Hands close together. Reach the arms up and overhead. And notice where the weight is on your feet. 
Can you balance out the weight on the balls of the feet and the heels so your hips stay right between your feet, not back or forward. Take one more breath here. And with a soft bend in the knees, reach your chest forward to come all the way up to stand. Release the hands and we'll sit down. So however you like, maybe step into the front of the mat, inhale the arms up, exhale forward and down. Inhale halfway up, bend your knees, sit down on the floor and we'll come to lie down. So clear your mat of any props. And point your feet with the big toes together, reach the arms forward, take a deep breath in. Big toes feet together as you breathe out, round your back to come down slowly, controlling from the core, slowly. Big toes together the entire time as you come down. And once your head touches the earth, you can bend the knees and bring them into chest, relax your back. Rocking side to side, massaging back muscles against floor. Pause in center. Bring your feet to floor, hip distance apart. Arms by the body, palms down. Feet are parallel. Take a deep breath into the belly expansion. Exhale, contract the belly. Lift up the hips, walk the shoulders close together, turn your palms up or interlace hands under hips, arms straight. Imagine you're squeezing one of your blocks. You could even have the block between your legs. Engaging inner thighs, press down your feet, lift your hips higher and your chest higher. Staying strong in Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Letting the back bend, create more heat in the system, energizing you. Squeeze the imaginary block or the real block and take one more breath. Separate the hands, shoulders, and lower down, upper back first, hips last. Knees can fall inwards, touching. Now, if you like, you can have a blanket underneath your head supporting the curve in the cervical spine. Open your arms out, shoulder height. Separate your feet as wide as the mat. Your knees are also apart. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, knees fall right. Turn your head left. Center as you inhale, knees and head up. Exhale, knees left, head right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Pause. Feet hip distance again. Draw your right knee in. Straighten the left leg down. Right arm opens out. Left hand guides the knee across the body towards the left. Adjust your right shoulder, shoulder blade down the back, soften the shoulder towards the floor and gaze over your right shoulder or your right hand. Now keep this right hip down so there's lots of space in the right side of your waist. And breathe easily. Nothing needs to be forceful right now. Breath comes and goes like waves in the ocean. Bringing in what we need, all the vitality, all the prana, and carrying away anything that we no longer need to hold on to. Cleansing the body, cleansing the mind, the energetic body. Bring your knee back up, plug it in. Left knee up, right foot to floor, extending the right leg down. Right hand holds the leg, left arm reaches out. 
Inhale in center and exhale to bring the knee across the body. Adjust the left shoulder blade down the back. Left palm is facing up and there's a lot of space between the left hip and the left shoulder. The waist is long. We allow the fluidity of the breath to happen without any obstructions. We trust the process of detoxification that happens with each breath we take. That same cycle that brings in nourishment. Breath is the main vehicle for vitality, for prana. Stay aware, present. And as we finish the exhalation here, We'll inhale the knee back up and exhale, bring it in. Right knee comes in. Happy baby, knees wide, soles up to sky. Hold on to the outer edges of your feet and anchor down your sacrum. Let it be heavy into the earth. Chin just slightly into chest, enough for the back of the neck to be long. And then feel free to rock around as you like. Ananda Balasana, the blissful child. Can you experiment with the idea of being a happy baby now? Completely in the moment, enjoying what you're doing. Exploring. And when you finish your exploration, allow your feet to come down, preparing for Shavasana. So if there's any tension in the low back, having blocks underneath thighs can be very helpful, just above your knees. Some people like the blocks to be further down. Um, underneath the shins, support under the knees would be great too, blankets or bolsters, so however you like, letting the body be very comfortable and really surrendering now to the pull of gravity. No effort. Giving the body a chance to integrate the work we've done through rest, through relaxation. Relax all the toes, letting the feet relax, the ankles, knees, and hips, both legs relax. pelvis, belly, ribcage, chest, the whole back relaxes. The shoulders, elbows, wrists, both arms, both hands relax, all the fingers relax. The throat, the neck, chin, lips, tongue, jaw, cheeks, ears, eyes, nose, center of the eyebrows, forehead, crown, and back of head, the brain, whole head relaxes, the entire body relaxes. Continue to be aware 
of how you feel without needing to be in control of anything, simply observing, witnessing the body in its natural state of relaxation, remaining present, let the breath Each exhalation, the body relaxes a little more. With each inhalation, it becomes more vibrant. More full of light. Each time we practice and we come to this place where we feel at ease, it makes the way back easier. So next time we practice, we'll remember the way, the way back to ourselves, to a healthy body, to a calm mind and a peaceful heart. If you can rest longer, stay lying down. If you are ready to wrap up the practice, move your hands and your feet, circle the ankles and wrists. Stretch out however you like. Then bend the knees, hug them in again, up an asana. Roll over to one side into a fetal position. And we'll meet seating up. As you sit, Try changing the leg that is in front so you're not always doing it the same way and you keep the body balanced. Sitting tall, eyes closed, a little longer. Join hands together. A moment of gratitude. It may help to bring something to mind that you're grateful for in your own life. Allowing your whole being to vibrate in gratitude. And to finish the practice, we'll chant the sound of OM one time, a full breath in. Namaste.